in this year's Yonex All England, we saw the Japanese woman's doubles player, Wakana Nagahara, strangely adopt the forehand serve, which is so rare, a professional badminton outside of women's singles. And what's even more surprising is that she played a high serve almost every single time. In fact, the game versus Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith in the second round, I don't think she played a low serve, which is crazy. Women's doubles is a much different game than men's doubles, but by playing a lift from the serve, which remember can't be in the back tram lines, I just can't see how that's a good idea. It invites a smash return right from the start of the rally, putting the Japanese pair under a lot of pressure, and that's exactly what the Chinese pair Zhang and Zeng did against them to knock them out. They took a step back and had an easy smash for the return of serve almost every time. You can see here she did play a forehand low serve, but this was really high for a low serve and wasn't that great either. Look at also where the Japanese players are stood when Nagahara is serving, side by side, ready for the defence. They're not even trying to set up in that conventional positions, where your partner is back in the back behind you. Nagahara's serving stood so far back, pretty much in the centre of the court. I guess they just fully decided to accept that they would start the rally in the defence when she is serving. The only reason why I see why she might have been doing this is because she might not have been that confident in her backhand serve, which is so surprising to me. Since in women's doubles, players don't even attack the serve as much as they do in men's, so it doesn't have to be that tight. And she could always play a flick serve on the backhand side if she wanted to. I've watched some of her other matches in previous tournaments, and she's used a standard backhand serve there. I would love to ask her coaches on why this might have been the case, as it was clearly agreed before the tournament that this is what she was going to do. It's not like it was terrible though, the Japanese pair have a great defence, and by baiting your opponent into smashing when they might be slightly out of position, you can open up some gaps they may be playing to. And maybe they were trying out some new tactic as well, who knows. What do you guys think anyway? I know we see a forehand serve in women's singles, but in women's doubles, it's certainly different. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next one.